Paolo Manchero is one of the youngest basketball players in the NBA. He plays for the Orlando Magic, but despite his recent debut as a pro, the talented small forward has been growing in popularity. We will dive deep into his life highlights, his contract money, and more. Paolo Benchero was born on November 12, 2002 in Seattle, Washington. His parents are Rhonda and Mario Benchero. Besides Rhonda and Mario, Paolo has two younger siblings, a brother and a sister. When he was four years old, Paolo began playing basketball and two years later, the athlete picked up football as well. Benchero even participated in track races. He was a true athletic individual. In fact, he stated several times that athleticism was ingrained in him from the start. Paolo began his early basketball career by joining the Rotary Boys and Girls Club of Seattle, which was the creation of his mother, who used to be a basketball player. Growing up, young Paolo already knew his priorities and set his goals accordingly. As a result, he always focused on two things, sports and studies. Paolo looked to take sports, school, and studies hand in hand. Paolo wanted to become a prominent high school athlete. However, he once said that transitioning was not that easy. The NBA star stated this, of course, going from six foot to six foot two in a year during his seventh grade was not convenient, so I had to ensure that I would use it to my advantage. Paolo quickly became a dominant player, but keeping a balance between his mental capacities and physical attributes was a challenge. High school career and highlights. Banchero went to Odea High School in Seattle and played basketball for their team. He also played as the backup quarterback on the state championship team on the football field. Yes, all at the same time. Paolo recorded 14.1 points and 10.2 rebounds per game. He landed 18.2 points, 10.3 rebounds, and 4.3 assists per game during his sophomore year and led his team to the Class 3A state championship. Paolo also was recognized as the most valuable player of the year. Benchero was improving and impressing everyone as a player every year. His numbers never ceased to increase. The gifted athlete was aware of his work ethic and was always after being the best in the room. During his junior season, he scored 22.6 points, 11 rebounds, 3.7 assists, and 1.6 blocks per game for the Class 3A runners-up. Paolo also received the Washington State Gatorade Player of the Year Award and made it to the Max Preps National Junior of the Year honors. But that's not all. He was also named to the McDonald's All-American team in 2021. Daryl Hennings was his coach for the Seattle Rotary. According to Hennings, Paolo was always the most humble player on the team. It's always been easier for Paolo to play on the court because of his size, but he was truly phenomenal in both sports. A dual sport athlete. Aside from basketball, Paolo played quarterback and free safety on the football field. Dual athletes cases like Paolo's at such a high level are rarely seen. He led FBU Seattle to a third place finish at FBUNC in 2014 and later led them to a second place finish in 2015-2016. Paolo recorded three touchdowns and displayed his passing ability with 200 yards in the 2017 FBU All-American game. Benchero also capped off the game, showing his true colors of ferocity as a player. According to his coach, Zuri Hector, young Paolo had a great understanding of the X's and O's. The athlete's footwork, skill, and vision are out of this world, and these aspects help him fight on the field. Rumors before committing. NBA All-Stars LeBron James and Dwayne Wade admitted their sons at Powerhouse Sierra Canyon High School, which has won the California Interscholastic Federation Open Division State Championship two times in a row. Sources tried to show information saying that Paolo would be added to the school, which he denied. The news landed with a picture of Paolo in USA Today's sports section. Paolo was thrilled to know that after receiving the information via text message forwarded by his dad. Recruiting. Most people know about Paolo's recruiting as many elite colleges demanded his presence after his phenomenal stats in high school. The top NCAA Division I programs like Duke, Kansas, and Kentucky were willing to offer Banchero a scholarship to play for them. Most fans assumed Paolo would attend Washington because his parents also attended the same school. However, the predictions were completely wrong. And on August 20, 2020, Paolo announced his commitment to Duke University. Well-known college coach and Pitt All-American Aaron Gray once praised the player for his mindset on CBS Sports, stating the following, Paolo is a coach's dream. His desire to improve when he is already at such an elite level is stunning to a guy like me. He's got a cool and collected attitude. Paolo's personality got him very far for his age. In fact, the young athlete already has amassed a huge net worth in a short career. Net worth and salary. Even though the young Banchero has just begun his career at only 20 years old, he has already signed a four-year deal worth $20 million with the Orlando Magic. 
Paolo is guaranteed $50 million and a yearly average salary of $15 million. During the 2022-2023 season, Banchero is estimated to get paid a base salary of $11 million while carrying a cap hit of another $11 million and a dead cap value of $10 million. By looking at his Instagram updates, fans have noticed that Banchero already has been enjoying a lavish lifestyle and living life to the fullest. The best thing about Paolo's career is that he still has many years to gain more popularity, fame, and even money throughout his professional career. As of today, though, the clout he has now has been enough for some fans to want to know who the star is dating. Personal life and girlfriend. Of course, many must be wondering about his high school girlfriend. But after many hardcore fans surfing the internet and all of the players' social media accounts, nobody was able to find even a hint of his girlfriend. But some people prefer to keep these matters private. If he has one, that's fine. And if not, it may be because he must be busy focusing on his career. And of course, he is. After all, the NBA is demanding if you want to be elite. The rest of the distractions can wait. Family line. However, being a total sports maniac is no coincidence for Banchero. The professional NBA player has a background full of competitiveness, all thanks to his parents who always taught him sportsmanship. His mother, Rondo, was a college basketball player for the Washington Huskies women's basketball team. In fact, she held the all-time scoring leader's recognition for nine years. And that's not all. Rondo was a third-round pick in the 2000 WNBA draft and had multiple offers in the American Basketball League and overseas. After her retirement, she worked as a basketball coach at Holy Names Academy in Seattle. His dad, Mario, and his uncle both were college football players for Washington as well. Mario played as a tight end in his tenure as a football player. Paolo's parents got along quite well during their years at Washington, and destiny played its game. However, neither of them expected their son to become as brilliant as he is. During his childhood, Paolo's parents knew he was fast and intelligent, which made them introduce Paolo to several sports. However, talent isn't everything in the sports world. There were times when Paolo had to overcome different obstacles like injuries. Injury. Paolo Banchero recently suffered an injury and was forced to step back for seven games to recover his sprained left ankle. The rookie got injured while facing the Houston Rockets. After this, Paolo was not able to go at the Magic on its recent three-game road trip so that he could continue treatment at the team facility. However, Paolo always works to get back into game shape. Overall, Paolo is a pretty lucky guy because this was the first significant setback in his entire basketball career. Paolo remained calm and relaxed throughout his days away from the court. He even stated this, I just have to be patient. It is my first time going through an injury. When it happened, I wanted to just go back as quick as possible and try to keep playing. Then I realized that wasn't doing anything for me, so I just had to learn to stay patient and listen to my body. If you like this video, then you will surely enjoy our video about Bryce James and Kion Anthony. Is Paulo destined to achieve NBA greatness as everyone expects him to? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.